Well, if you've been feeling a hit at the grocery store, you are not alone. Grocery prices are actually expected to rise 3% in 2016. But as WBIR 10 News anchor Mary Scott shows us, credit unions across the state came together today to pay it forward. A Thursday afternoon trip to the grocery store. Dreaded by some, unsure how they're going to stretch the dollars this month. But this trip wasn't so bad for 20 lucky people. We have $2,000 that we are going to go in and surprise people at the Food City here. We're excited about what the people are going to say. We're excited to get to do it. Um, it's not only happening here, it's happening in four other places across the state at the same time. 26 East Tennessee credit unions came together to make it happen. And we want to pay $100 on your groceries today. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah. Handing out cash at random to the first 20 folks they could find at the checkout. I mean, it always helps because groceries are expensive. I have two more at home, too. And we hope that you will play it forward and help someone in the future. See, I love to eat, so I love it. <laughs> Barbara Lear. There's no catch. No catch whatsoever. Couldn't process the shock at first, but eventually realized that this meant she didn't have to pay a dime today. And I'm so thankful to the ladies that, and the people that uh, made this possible. Some recipients never accepted the cash, paying the good deed forward before they even left the store. They offered me $300 on groceries, and I bring my brother every week. He's disabled, so I asked them to give it to him. He needs it a lot more than I do. And they weren't alone. A few hundred dollar bills starting a contagious movement to pay it forward. Mary Scott, WBIR 10 News. Love it. Shoppers continuing to pay it forward. Thanks so much for watching 10 News at 5. 10 News at 6 starts right now.